809. That was Bon Jovi right there with Because We Can. Kicking off the third hour of the Morning Cruise Control with me, Senior Airman Kellen Carr. And of course, in this hour, we're going to play movie trivia at 830. But right now, you know, March is Women's History Month. And I have a special guest in the studio with me. I have the 2013 Miss Sakura, Miss Christy McFadden. How are you doing this morning? Doing great. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, not a problem. It's great to have you in the studio. And, uh, you know, we're going to be talking about some great events coming up around Yakota and the Kanto Plain in general. And uh, for people, how people can get involved with Women's History Month. Is that all right? Yes, we are. We are. And and for those who are, you know, you, your title is the current 2013 Miss Sakura. For those who are familiar with it, what, what exactly is Miss Sakura? Well, the Miss Sakura organization gives spouses here in Japan the opportunity to participate in a scholarship pageant. Um, but to me, having the opportunity to Miss Sakura, be Miss Sakura is completely different than just being in a pageant. It's given me an opportunity to really reach out to the community, be a voice for other spouses, find things that are needed in the community and offer volunteer opportunities. Um, and so being Miss Sakura gives spouses a chance to empower themselves and to really be leaders as women in our communities and, uh, and to provide youth a role model to look up to. All right. Well, folks, stay tuned because we're going to be talking about how you, you were talking about, you know, getting out and getting into the community. We're going to be telling people how you can get that opportunity and also how someone else can uh, maybe have a chance to be in the next Miss Sakura. That's right. So stay tuned for more here on the Morning Cruise Control. We got Lord coming up, but first, here's Matt Nathanson with Kink's shirt. Age 16, Lord, right there with her at, from her album Pure Heroin with the team. Hey, it's Kellen here. It's the Morning Cruise Control. And we also have Christy McFadden, 2013 Miss Sakura, in the studio with us. And we're going to talk about a women's domestic violence seminar going down in Tachikawa. Christy, what do you have for us? Hi, yes, we're really excited about this event. Um, the Mrs. Sakura organization is having the opportunity to provide some teenage girls with some do domestic violence information and self-defense class for two hours on Monday, March 10th. Um, we're really thrilled because this is our first opportunity to work with Tachikawa and to um, create kind of a friendship between the two cities dealing between the women um, and also to educate girls about domestic violence. And so this, this seminar itself is going to be hosted for the Japanese teens, correct? Correct, correct. They actually have been advertising it and allowing them to sign up to, to participate. And so you, you, what you guys are looking for is some volunteers to go over there and, and kind of help represent the, the Americans and uh, join up with the Tachikawa, correct? We are, and we would love to have some women, and even men if, if interested, join us on Monday to go down to Tachikawa and participate in the actual seminar. Um, we'd be able to partner you with some of the teens or um, together and demonstrate these techniques so we can help them learn how to use some simple self-defense. And I understand, you know, this is something that you don't have to be the most skilled at it because you guys are actually going to have a practice tonight. Correct, correct. If you're interested in doing this, tonight at 5 o'clock, we are going to be doing a practice. You can contact us through the Mrs. Sakura Organization Facebook website, um, building 2091, 5 to 630. We're going to go through some of the techniques and just explain what we're doing. Um, but we are very excited, and we're hoping we can get a few volunteers who'd be interested in dedicating their time and making a difference for these young ladies. All right. Well, make sure you contact them because uh, this is definitely, uh, you're talking about, you know, building that friendship, building that bridge, you know, and uh, this is definitely a great way to show partnership and uh, just get involved in the community. Definitely. And it's also a great way to be a leader as a woman. When you take initiative and you stand up and you show that you're not going to accept domestic violence as something that's considered normal, you're giving these girls something to look up to and um, you're also giving them the opportunity to participate in a cultural um, exchange. So it's a really, really great opportunity for us as women. Most definitely. March is Women's History Month. So folks, this is a great event for uh, the women and uh, like you said, empowering women women, especially Japanese women in, in, you know, building that bridge. So we definitely appreciate that. And we've got a couple more events to talk about. We do. Here this morning. We're going to be talking about the uh, 2014 Miss Sakura, you know, accepting applications now and an underwear drive. That's Christy. right. Got to worry about that. It's going to be <laughs> very interesting, folks. Make sure you stay tuned. We're going to have more from Miss Christy McFadden, 2013 Miss Sakura here on the Morning Cruise Control. But first, we got your weather. It's 90 seconds away. All right. Let's take a look outside of our Eagle 810 studio. It's currently 39 degrees. Today you can expect cloudy skies and rain. Today's highs are going to be in the lower 50s. Tonight you can expect more cloudy skies and rain, but it should be clearing up later this after, this evening. Excuse me. Tonight's lows are going to drop down to the mid 30s. And tomorrow, clear skies. 
Tomorrow's highs are going to be in the upper 40s, with tomorrow's lows in the upper 20s. Today's exchange rate is 99 yen to the U.S. dollar, courtesy of Community Bank. It is now 8.22. Now, earlier I was talking about the Yakota Lady Warriors softball team. Well, practices are actually held from 6 to 8 o'clock in the evening. If you want to get involved, players of all skill levels are welcome. Just head over to the Yakota West Side softball field or contact 2nd Lieutenant Ashley Thompson. We're back into the music. Here's Aloe Black with The Man. we got the Pacific Radio Report and your movie trivia coming up soon. 825. Hey, stay tuned. Christy McFadden, 2013 Miss Sakura. She's going to be talking to us about the Miss Sakura pageant coming up later this year. I don't know. Later, early in the spring. What's that? May. May. And also an underwear drive coming to the console plane. Don't miss out on that. Coming up after Cash Cash and BB with Take Me Home. 828. That was Cash Cash and BB right there with Take Me Home. It's the Morning Cruise Control. Kellen here. We're going to be playing movie trivia here in a moment coming up after your Pacific Radio Report. But first, we're talking with Christy McFadden, the 2013 Miss Sakura. And we've been talking about a women's domestic violence seminar that you guys are going to be putting on with Tachikawa. And uh, now, though, we got to talk about a couple other events going on, you know, because it is Women's History Month, in fact. That's right. That's right. And, of course, as women, uh, Mrs. Sakura organization is based around the spouses here at Yakota. And we're about helping women learn to empower themselves and make themselves better and, you know, become a part of their community and find ways that they can make a difference and leave that legacy, which really is what Women's History is all about. All right. Well, this year, you know, you're 2013, Mrs. Sakura, so you're looking to pass off the crown and I understand you guys are actually taking uh, applications for this year's competition. That's right. It's kind of bittersweet, but we are definitely looking forward to our 2014 Mrs. Sakura pageant. And we are taking applications. The deadline to get those turned in, ladies, is April 4th. So you've got to get those into us before that. And remember, it's not just about the women, but also your teenage daughters, your younger daughters, um, are welcome to participate in the Buds pageant or the Blossoms pageant. And we really want to give them an opportunity to better themselves, skills, and how to carry themselves confidently. And that's what the pageant's all about, is helping give them the tools to be successful as women in the future. So is this is it similar to, like, a beauty pageant? Is that what the Miss I pageant? would not call it a beauty pageant <laughs> at all. I would not. It is um, really based along the lines of teaching us or showing off the person you are inside. Um, there's an interview portion, a fitness portion, an evening gown portion, an onstage question. And um, the, the, the pageant itself is really about shining from inside out and showing people who you are because realistically you don't know your capabilities until you put yourself out there um and it's definitely so not true. based on beauty it's not because the pe person you are inside is beautiful regardless of what you are on the outside most definitely and, and speaking of uh, all the different competitions what what is this underwear drive that you're talking right. about right <laughs> yes that's kind of an odd subject but um along the lines of the domestic violence that we're doing um seminar we're doing with uh, tachikawa we've also outreached with the women's a women's shelter there and we are going to be providing them with undergarments um you know bras underwear socks undershirts um anything from young child up to adult sizes um because they take in a lot of different um, ladies and sometimes their children and they have a need for those types of um, usable garments that can't be just you know disposed of okay so i christine don't have anything to give but if, <laughs> if people do want to give where can they go we're going to be setting up some boxes um, and we'll be giving some more announcements out on our uh, the mrs Sakura organization page as we get that finalized but there'll be some boxes throughout uh, the base where you can just donate brand new um, items that, that can go down to the shelter and be given to people who are def desperately in need of that all right well and again if for those who maybe missed the first segment, we were talking about the Women's Domestic Violence Seminar. When and where is that going on, and uh, how can people get involved with that All as right. well? All right. The Domestic Violence uh, uh, Seminar is Monday, March 10th in Tachikawa. It'll be with teenage girls from Tachikawa. Um, the event starts, we have to leave here at 1 o'clock on Monday. Uh, we'll be meeting at the bank parking lot. And today at 5 o'clock, Building 2091, we'll be having a practice with some of the techniques to just get you familiarized with them. Please contact us through the Mrs. Sakura Organization Facebook page or my email address is mrs.sakura2013 at gmail.com. And also, you know, for those of you who are Japanese listeners who are listening, you're looking for a Japanese translator as well. We are. If anybody would like to um, volunteer some 
of their time. We could definitely utilize somebody who could translate English and Japanese. Um, simply, uh, it just would streamline the process of teaching these young ladies and make the event much more successful. And since this is our first event with Tachikawa, we really want to show them the camaraderie our base has with their city and with their girls. All right, Christy McFadden, 2013 Miss Sakura. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, just remember, this is Women's History Month, and each of us have so much we can do for our communities, and volunteering is a way to leave a legacy, so you never know when you will be somebody listed under the Women's History Month as somebody who made a difference. So get out there and shine. Well, Christy, we appreciate you coming in this morning. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Thank you. Folks, stay tuned. We're going to be playing movie trivia. That's your chance to win free food, courtesy of the Dakota Exchange Food Court. That's coming up in two minutes, right after your Pacific Radio Report. Go ahead. Make my day. And now it's time for movie trivia. <laughs> Call Eagle 810 if you know the name of the movie. And today's movie is... For the last time, I'm pretty sure what's killing the crops is this Brondo stuff. The Brando's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. So wait a minute. What you're saying is that you want us to put water on the crops? Yes. Water. Like out the toilet? Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be out of the toilet, but, but yeah, that's the idea. But Brando's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. Okay, look. The plants aren't growing. So I'm pretty sure that the Brando's not working. Now, I'm no botanist, but I do know that if you put water on plants, they grow. Oh, well, I've never seen no plants grow out of no toilet. Hey, that's good. You sure you ain't the smartest guy in the world? Yeah. So <laughs> okay, look, you, you want to solve this problem. I want to get my pardon, so why don't we just try it, okay? And not worry about what plants crave. Brando's got what plants crave. Okay. Yeah, it's got electrolytes. What are electrolytes? Do you even know? It's... What they use to make Brondo. Yeah, but why do they use them to make Brondo? Because Brondo's got electrolytes. That was today's movie trivia. Call 225-2379 or 042-552-2510, extension 52379 with the answer. Phone home. May the force be with you. Eagle 810, who's this? This is Don. Hey, what's up, Don? How you doing, brother? Not too bad. Hey, you got an answer for me. Idiocracy. It most certainly is idiocracy. You're today's winner of movie trivia, man. Hey, where are you trying to get a lunch to? Uh, Anthony's to Works. Anthony's Pizza. All right, that's simple enough. All you got to do is tell me who's your favorite radio station. Eagle 810. 845, that was Naughty Boy featuring Sam Smith right there with La La La. It's the Morning Cruise Control, and it's Kelvin here. And listen, NEF Itsugi's having their travel fair 2014 this Saturday of to four at the Atsugi Convention Center. They're going to have over 12, 20 vendors, excuse me. They're going to do giveaways, have door prizes, entertainment, kids' bouncy castle. You know it's a complete event when they have the bouncy castle. That, like, makes it so official right there. So check out the NEF Atsugi Travel Fair 2014 going down this Saturday. And the number, if you want more information on this event, 264-3770. Again, that's 264-3770, the NF Itsugi Travel Fair 2014, telling you when, where, and how you can get around while you're out here in Japan. All right, stay tuned. We got your weather on the way and more music, including the plain white tees right here on the Morning Cruise Control. Here's your weather. All right, let's take a look outside of our Eagle 810 studio. It's currently 39 degrees. Today, you can expect cloudy skies and rain. Today's highs are going to be in the lower 50s. Tonight, you can expect rain, but hopefully it should be clearing up later this evening with tonight's lows dropping down to the mid-30s. Tomorrow, you can expect clear skies. Tomorrow's highs are going to be in the upper 40s with tomorrow's lows in the upper 20s. Today's exchange rate is 99 yen to the U.S. dollar, courtesy of Community Bank. It is now 8.48, so we're getting back into the music here on the Morning Cruise Control. Congratulations to Don Baum. He's today's winner of Movie Trivia. Here's Crooked Smile, J. Cole, TLC. You're listening to the Morning Cruise Control with Kellen Carr 
on Eagle 810. 8.55, that's the plain white tees right there with Rhythm of Love. Hey, wrapping up the third hour, and listen, next week, Monday and Tuesday, March 10th and 11th, the Yakota Commissary will be closed for inventory. So you need to make sure you're taking advantage, spread your shopping out throughout the week, and uh, try not to do any last-minute shopping on Sunday because uh, unless it's absolutely necessary because things will be kind of running out around that time. But they will be opening back up Wednesday, March 12th, 9 o'clock in the morning, and they'll be fully stocked. So just letting you know ahead of time. Your AP Radio News is coming up after this very fitting song, The Adventures of Raindance Maggie, Red Hot Chili.